In this video we're going to run through how to update the firmware and the settings on Trimble GNSS receiver so it can continue to use the Trimble RTX and the Xfil GNSS services. Go through why uh, this change is required and when it's going to happen, the firmware update process and the new beam settings. So the RTX real-time correction streams are being updated to AES encryption and there's also a beam change to accommodate uh, technology enhancements and for expanded network coverage. Now this will affect all devices and services using Trimble, Xfil and the RTX technology. So particularly uh, Xfil with the VRS Now service, for example. The new beam is on, uh, has been from the start of December, and the old beam will continue to work for the time being, but that's going to be turned off at the start of June in 2019. So to use the new encrypted beam, the firmware needs to be on a particular minimum version for the receivers listed um, on the screen here. So for the R10, uh, the minimum firmware version to support RTX on the new beam and XFIL on the new beam will be uh, 5.2 onwards. For the R10s, the R10 Model 2, uh, the i9s and the r2 the firmware on these receivers can be updated using Trimble installation manager uh, for the 7x and the r1 then a downloads firmware upgrade downloads are required which you can then run on the geo7 or from a pc to upgrade the firmware on those devices these new beam settings uh, the new frequency 1545.49 and the new board rate is 2400. So once the firmware is on the minimum version required to accept the new encrypted beam, those settings need to be put in. For the R10, the R10 Model 2 and the R9S, um, this can be done via Trimble Access or it can also be done using the web UI which is incorporated into the firmware of those particular receivers. Uh, for those models and any other receiver models which use RTX, if you visit the page shown on the screen and then tap on receiver instructions, you'll find specific instructions for entering the new settings for all the receivers supported. If you need to contact us for any help with us for this procedure, uh, just use the support at carartgroup.com email address or the phone number shown. So here I've got a an R10 connected to my computer via the uh, USB cable provided with the R10 and I'm running Trimble Installation Manager here. So if I click on the receiver button within Trimble Installation Manager going to look for and find the R10 that I have connected. Okay, if I check the device information, uh, the current firmware version on the device is version 5.34, so it's already okay to accept the new uh, beam settings, but I'll run through the update procedure anyway. So I have here selected the 5.35 uh, firmware version to install. Uh, if you see 5.37 as an option, ignore that. Don't install 5.37 earlier or later, yes, but don't install version 5.37. So I'll go with version 5.35 and click install. And OK to continue. The whole firmware upgrade process can take about 
10 minutes to complete during which time the receiver will reboot and the connection be re-established to Trimble Installation Manager. So we've speeded up the process a little in this video. But when it is complete you'll see a green tick displayed within the Trimble Installation Manager interface and the button in the bottom right is going to change to finish. So this stage I'm going to click on finish and I'm now going to need to establish a Wi-Fi connection to the R10 so I can use the web UI. So my computer needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi uh, on the R10 device. Just to check that that's the case, on my PC here, I'm just going to click on the Wi-Fi option. There's the Wi-Fi being emitted by the R10. I'm just going to tap the connect button and let that connect through. Okay, so we're connected on the Wi-Fi from my computer to the R10. Then the IP address to type in to connect the web browser you've opened to the R10 is 192.168.142.1. Little R10 splash screen will appear and I'm already logged in but if you get a login prompt the default username is admin and the password is just password. So the place to go to to update the RTX beam information in this list on the left is the MSS correction section and then choose configuration. The MSS service ticked on should be the RTX XFIL. If it isn't set at the present time set the uh, SV name to custom and then in the boxes below we can enter the updated information. So the new beam is on 1545.49 as the frequency and the board rate or the bit rate is still the same at 2400. So having done that I can click accept and that information will be stored in the R10 receiver making the RTX service ready to use again. Thanks for watching the video. As I say if you do have any questions about the upgrade of the firmware on a receiver or changing the settings within the receiver firmware to support the new beam settings, the, the new um, frequency and the bitrate, then please get in touch with us.